Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to use color groups with DSKs. Now color groups allow you to chain mixer and program rows to other mixers or even downstream keyers and vice versa. This gives you a ton of flexibility and can make your life in production land very easy. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so here we are on the TriCaster 2 Elite interface. And the way I have the TriCaster set up at the moment is I have my program output over here on the right. And then right here on the left, that is just showing you my mix effect number one. Now I have the scenario set up uh, similar to how I've done a few conventions uh, when I've um, done a few of these myself being a TriCaster operator. Uh, what I'll do is uh, within the auditorium that I'm in, if I'm having like interviews, et cetera, uh, I will have my program output sent to a monitor, projectors, et cetera, uh, within the hall itself. And then I'll have a secondary output, like say mix number two, assigned to mix uh, mix effect number one, like I have right here, just to show a, a list of uh, uh, coming up events, et cetera. Uh, and that's what I have in this particular demonstration. So let's just say for uh, this example is that I have my mix number one on my program output that's going to my monitors that are in the room. And this one is going out to the rest of the auditorium so people can know what's going on, et cetera. But I also wanna show a little preview of what I'm doing within the auditorium itself. So for example, I can always update these and say, you know, instead of 1 p.m. opening ceremony, I can say happening now. Uh, but what I wanna do is have a little preview of that over here in the corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use color groups to where I can show exactly what I'm doing within the hall to everyone that is viewing this particular monitor, okay? Now there's a few different ways to do that, uh, that just for this particular example, I'm going to use color groups. So essentially what I wanna do is have my program echoed what's going on over here. So what I can do is uh, I'm going to go to my program right here, click this drop down, and you'll see that I have a couple of different options for color groups. So I have uh, four different options to choose from here. I'm going to select green, on this one. And let's go ahead and open up mix effect number one. So essentially what I wanna do is now put something here, okay? So I already have a uh, downstream keyer or an upstream keyer assigned to that, which currently is just black. But what I'm going to do is under the key one for the source, instead of selecting a source that's coming through here, uh, I am going to say follow that color group, which is green, boom. All right, now check this out. Let me minimize this because now I have that upstream keyer ready to go. And now whenever I do switches on my program row, that will automatically change to the input that I've selected here. So I pretty much have an, identi an identical program uh, going out to not only the monitors that are in my auditorium, but also the ones that are outside of it as well. So there's a few different ways that you can do this and you can mix and match these. Uh, this is just a, a an example of using the program color group to go to an upstream keyer, but you can also do the same thing, uh, vice versa on the downstream keyers here as well. So I can select color groups and a lot of different mixing and matching you can do with this. I'm excited to see what you guys can do uh, using this particular method. And of course, get out there and have some fun. So as you can see, using color groups with DSKs opens up a whole bunch of creative possibilities. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you'd like more new tech tutorial videos, subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. You can also sign up for formalized new tech product training with New Tech University. Visit newtech.com slash newtech u for more information. And speaking of more information, if you want to learn more information about new tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. Also, New Tech has an incredible program where you can sign up for a free interactive New Tech product demonstration at newtech.com slash demo, where you can meet with a New Tech specialist, see how these systems work, and ask questions in real time and in the comfort of your own home or wherever. Uh, if you're posting your work with New Tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are working on. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.